Welcome back guys to one of the unity tutorial in this unity tutorial we're gonna learn how to make uh, this tap water system like it runs and just if we press E again it says close and the water tap closes that's how it's done okay let's begin okay so we are here in the scene and we have our main scene over here and we got so many things the first thing you're gonna need a model you know the model of the tap that's gonna be mine for this one I have this model I have two separate objects like first is this one and the second one is this one this guy this one is gonna be working as the lever for a tap that seems to nice that seems nice to be in animation when you just press E on the tap so that looks like it you know it's turning on or it's, you know whatever okay so you definitely have to have separate objects so that you can apply animation in the unity you can have animation like over here I will talk about that later uh in, in this video and you can have animator if you don't have these tabs just go to your window and animation just add both these and you know assign wherever you want it to be okay so we have this water this model and we have this particle system you see that the animation that is turning over this particle system is unity essentials it's you know you can find it on the unity asset store and add it to your project it would be like water it would be like effects 5x on the unity essentials you can just search it or i will have a link in the description okay so the water we come to our water tab this is the model uh, which which have the you know objects inside of it i have three things as assigned to it the first is the water tab script animator and box collider you can add all of these from over here by searching or you can just you know the script you can drag it from the folders like that you know like that it will be signed okay so the box collider make sure you have the you know make sure you have it like you know aligned properly not have extra space okay uh, by doing that and you just also have to be having the H trigger on cause you know it's necessary yeah and animator you just don't need to add animator separately from it you can just have it in animation tab also so yeah so the water tab script you will find it in the description guys and it takes a long time to edit and write the system uh, code inside of it so uh, please you can just hit the like button and subscribe the channel if you want more stuff like that uh, okay other uh, scripts you can find in description obviously link to that you can just copy paste always remember to copy paste your script not download and import it that sometimes doesn't work in unity okay so yeah we have this you know this water effects that i talked about the unity essentials uh assets so you just have to you know drag this water leak you can see some water going down through you can just you know copy paste my this one this is just the default one that is come that comes in the asset pack but i just edited it edited the values inside of it like that you can just have a you know a screenshot if screenshot of it if you want like same values or you can just play around with it yourself I just also made the you know changes in this curve like that if you don't see that you don't see this window uh, it must be you know in the bottom of over here you can just drag it like that like that okay so yeah you can just you know just take screenshots of all of this yeah one is that that collision would be off by default you can just you know turn it on and make the, your floor your floor select your floor and drag it over here so you see the splash effect uh if you don't apply this the splash effect won't be there okay so yeah you can see that uh just do that and yeah that's it i didn't change much of anything in that and there is one more inside of it water splash one you can just also have a scene over here you can just copy paste it okay one more thing if i don't show you okay it's some shape i was talking about okay so the particle is done you can just you know just you know just play around with the position of it it but doesn't it won't affect it and now we come to our water tap script or whatever we have like so many variables that needs to be assigned first of all i will talk about the sound the sound you see the sound is over like in my folder that i have you know uh where is it okay yeah i have sounds in over here that i have imported directly from my folder so you can just drag and drop over here and you know this sound and i have like this sound folder in my game also 
you know you go to your first person controller or your player and just right click make an empty object and inside of that empty, empty object go to audio and make audio source i have already created that with name tap open make sure you have this loop on for the audio because you know the tap water is you want it always be running because you know you just you just want always water sound to be coming just don't stop it okay so uh display on awake would be on by default so make it close make it you know make it just off and you just drag your this thing like that and there will be just you can play with these things uh up to you okay so we have the you know just sounds you can just you know come to your script uh, and just you know drag and drop like that now we have this running particle system that we have to assign that is just the particle system that we have created and edited and now we have two text okay now i have two text uh this, this you also are gonna have to be assigning inside of fps controller because you know just it just makes it you know somewhat like not much messy uh okay so what you do is go ui and add text mesh pro you can also add raw image to it but i like text mesh pro yes so like that you can just uh, go and click at that make sure it's default make sure it make sure it's act it's not active right now and write it edit it like a, a, like up to you you can edit whatever you want it to be and just if you're done make sure they are all not active and just go to your water tap script just drag and drop like that if you guys have any trouble doing something or you have any questions or suggestions you can write down in comments i would appreciate that and also you you can like the video okay now we are on to the script let's see what's in the script so these are the variables that needs to be assigned that i have just shown you these are these and these are the private bools that works in the scripts and how it uh, how it works yes okay so now we have first of all the void trigger enter collider other on trigger enter means yeah, you see on trigger enter means this trigger is on uh, that is related to that and collider that's box collider and others if any collider have a trigger is trigger on then this will active and if game object with tag reach reach okay so wait a second is read in read the reach tag reach tool i have in the you know uh this thing i will go to my player right now i have this long reach tool that i have created i have so many videos about that and i have to also talk i always use this reach tool to interact with my stuff in games so i use that you can just simply go and make it a game empty game object or maybe a cube just uh disable the mesh renderer and add a box collider and a rigid body with all constraints freeze up you can just copy paste values and also make the trigger on and also wait a second okay uh okay you can just add tags like that maybe what's happening with me in my game i don't know save it and also maybe whatever i don't like this thing uh maybe you can make it you can just write it like that maybe i just forgot to save my thing that's why it's happening okay so you have that you made two tags of your own choice and go to your read uh, make it reach you know and this is this is the you don't need right now this is for triggers for jump scares or something like that just assign tag to it and just make it box flat and rigid body your reach tool will be done so in the script we have met the condition of this one and is and if it's closed we go and if we see the object in the trigger then the reach becomes true and the open text becomes true that comes in appears like it open and e to open the you know tab that comes we have bool assigned over here so you know yeah now we come to start void void start first so we have in reach false and in you know op is open also false because in the start you don't want the tab already running so we have the is closed true and also we have a, both the text false because you know they, they you definitely don't want all the text appearing on the screen whenever if you if you don't even think the object okay and this is the animation this is uh you know for animation this this line of code is for animation 
you see I have a public particle system running water and I just write the running by running water dot stop so what it does is whenever like, you see I go over to this uh, display and this happens stop you know this stop happens and that is exactly same as in it in over here running water stop then I have in reach is closed if in, if the object is in reach and if it's is if the tap is closed and we get the interact button if we press E then the animations become true and the text becomes false and the sound the sound of the tap running becomes true or maybe we play and the bulls becomes opposite opposite of the start and the running water becomes play and that's exactly opposite to this one in, is open and that that's done okay so yeah I now I will come to animation okay so what's an in animation whenever you go to tap and just animation animator go animation you have to add the animations like you know create new clip uh, save it wherever you want it to be saving okay and that's just hit save uh, add property like go add property cylinder 4 and go rotation there will be rotation it's not right now because it's already there just add position or scale whatever you want to animate and one is the idle nothing happens another one is open you know just you know just this is the idle one now the rotation change okay so this you have to just keep in mind that this this recording mode is on and then you can just you know play around with the thing in rotation then the last I have the copy of idle that's also the same that's not the copy of idle that's opposite of uh, tap open you can just flip the keys and just paste copy paste now the thing is an animator okay so we come to the animator and we have to add two bools bool and then main, make sure you name them exactly same as your script like in over here open and close if you don't do that the script won't work okay uh, make sure your tab idle is default make sure set as layer default state and then make transition make transition into this one tap open and then transition to this one and back transition to this one this one you just also make sure you this both are off uh, in every one these two must be on this two must be off okay and first first you just have to add open to I would not do that right now okay okay yeah open true next one is close true and the last one coming back is open true okay so animation is also done and now the last thing you might want to be doing is wherever you saved your animation uh, like that like tap open make sure the loop time is off or else the animation will be running again and again and again okay so I think I explained everything one most important thing I forgot to explain is we got this input get button down in track in our script you have to assign this in track button in the unity editor go edit uh, go project setting go to the player not the player input manager there must be 18 by default you can just you know increase the number and hit enter uh, go to the duplicate ones and just you know write down in track exact same as in the script okay you can just copy paste it from the script and you can just have any button that you want it to be like you know for your use i have e you can have just f or shift or whatever up to you your preferences that's all i will just write in the comments if you have any problem if you enjoyed this video or found this video useful you can hit that like button and if you are new to the channel you can hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video of like these things okay i also upload uh, blender tutorials i would i'm considering about uh, making a tutorial series uh, that will be coming soon guys so stay tuned bye bye